Hey everybody, we're back at the job site. Last episode we showed you how to make the panels. Today we're going to show you how to install the panels. We have to shim the back wall and make it nice and plumb. We have a seam in one of the panels in the back wall. We have a nice big giant seam that we have to do. So that'll take some time. And so let me set up the tripod and we'll do a time lapse of the process so you can kind of see what we're doing. And then after we get the panel installed, we still have to sand the face of it. And then we'll move on to the right and left panel and we got some other accessories that we have to install so let's get started Okay, so we're back and I've got the first panel in. I got a second panel to put up here. Then we're going to epoxy it here. So it's nice and plumb. And it's just a matter of gluing the panel together, sanding it out and making it one continuous panel. And I'll silicone these two panels to the green board. So let me put it back on time lapse and we'll keep working. So the next step here, we got the bottom panel in and we need to put glue here along this seam. And then we're gonna come over here and take this, this top panel and we're gonna put it up here and clamp it down on here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna need your help on this. So I'm gonna have to recruit the cameraman to uh -uh. camera a person. Now I gotta work. Now I gotta work. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got the seam tight with the seam clamps. We've got the boards in the corner to keep these two panels nice and straight up and down. So, uh, same plane, plumbed it to one another. And so now we just have to wait for it to dry and we'll, we'll sand this out and make a one complete panel. All right, we're back. We're ready to go. We're ready to sand out this seam 
is we got a lot of time to cure and so now we just need to sand it and blend it into the rest of the panel because these panels are finished they're nice and smooth we just have to blend this into the sides we'll be taking off uh, this brace the silicone should be plenty cured enough for the panel not to fall on our head and so let's get started <clears throat> All right, as you can see so far, <clears throat> we have uh, most of the glue sanded off. We got a little bit further to sand to make it nice and smooth with no bump, no, no anything. But uh, we're coming along pretty quick. Let's go through the different grits and we'll get it nice and shiny. Okay, well that's it. We've sanded the back panel. It looks great. Nice and smooth. Looks like the rest of the panel. The next step is to install the two side panels. We still have to install the soap caddy and we have some quarter round trim that goes in the two corners. And so yeah, let's get started. Okay, quick update. We have the, the walls are nice and plumb. We shimmed them so the panel on them be nice and flat and tight. And you can see over this one here, we've got this one kind of sitting there. It's not glued in place yet. We're gonna put the silicone on. So let me put it back on time lapse and we'll get started. We're back here. We finished installing the side panels. As you can see, they're nice and tight. We have some poles across there to keep it tight to the wall. Make sure the right side. So a couple things, we have a, a gap here at the wall. We're gonna fill this with silicone and then a quarter round piece will be put over that to cut off for the 
shower handle. That's the shower head. See if it's nice and tight to the wall there. And you can see it's right nice tight around the curve. Nice tight fit. As well as the bottom of the shower pan. Each wall fits nice and tight. And we'll silicone that to make it a nice watertight seal. That's it, so we just need to wait for that to cure. And then we'll finish the quarter round piece. We'll install the soap caddy. We'll silicone it and that'll be it. We got a slight problem. Customer ordered a large soap caddy. We cut a hole for a small or medium soap caddy. So we've got that fixed. We've cut the hole a little bit bigger. And uh, I'm gonna test it real quick so make sure we're good. But this is just a template to. have to remove this template and I'm going to glue this in place permanently with some, some regular epoxy and that'll keep it in there nice and then let's see what do we have left to do we have the, the quarter round piece and we have I think that'll stay um, over here we have the seat this, this is the custom seat that the customer ordered it, uh, it matches this darker stripe on the wall it's accent stripe and that's going to go now over here it's going to be right inside here. So, Um, when we finish up the, the shower seat, so let's take a look at us down here. Let me see if you can get a better look at it. So it sits on the curb right here, and then the, the glass door will go up around here, on here, straight up the wall, up to here. All is going good. We just have a few more steps. It's just a quarter round, and then we have to silicone it. We'll clean up the cardboard, and then the plumber will come in and take care of the faucet and the shower head and that is all done so if they want to do some painting or whatever they can they're more than welcome after we're done but at least um our part of the project is finished and should be a waterproof shower so let me get started on the quarter round and the silicone All right, we're all finished up with the shower. Let me turn this camera around and we're gonna take a look. Okay, here's a close-up of the, the shower seat. As you can see, it sits on the curb, so it's inside the shower. That's what we want. We wanna keep all the water inside the shower. It's about 13 inches deep, so it's plenty enough to sit comfortably. I'm sure people will start loading up the, the soaps and the shampoos there, but really really nice shower seat it's a perfect height that's 19 inches tall meets ADA and here's a quarter round in the quarter let me see if we can get this to focus really good that's the quarter round now that gives extra protection in the corner of the shower 
all the walls, everything is waterproof on solid surface. But wherever you have two pieces coming together, you wanna to make sure it's silicone really nice. And then we add this quarter round piece for extra protection. And we have one on this corner as well. Here's a close up of the soap caddy. Has a little drain, drains on all the shelves at the top. Hard to see that one, huh? Top and bottom there. And you can have as many soap caddies as you want. Most people just pick one, but we've installed two before. Here's a decorative star on igneous is the color. That's just a decorative strip. It's all made out of solid surface material, so it's all one piece. We've seamed it together. You can see that process in this, in another video that I did. But it's all one piece. It's all seamed together, epoxy together, so it became one piece. There's not, there's no seam in between here. It's nice and flush and watertight. But it just gives a little style to the shower. Some people choose just solid colors, or one color, I should say. And again, this is a Staron. This is Staron Tempest Peak. This is Staron Igneous. The shower seat is Staron Igneous as well. The shower pan is Staron material. This is bright white and the curb is Tempest Peak. A lot of customers choose the white floor. It just kind of matches the sinks and the, the toilet, if you will. It gives a little bit of style. But you can also choose a different color for the floor. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, be sure to comment below. And be sure to watch the other videos on the installation process and the panel fabrication of the shower. Thanks for watching.